I am doing a tag today and the tag is called the booktube parasite tag I saw this on Sean the book maniac so the purpose of this tag is to take another booktuber that you watch and re uh, enact their uh, re react to their video so you're supposed to be polite about it so um, I chose one of mine I, I looked on my book tubes uh, I have a list of so many subscribers that I watch and it says recommended underneath and I picked one of the ones that um, I watch occasionally um, so <laughs> Okay, I am going to sponge off of Murphy Napier. I watch her occasionally. She did a video on April 21st about You Choose My TBR. And it was about books that she read two years ago and that she wanted you to make her reread. So here is my response to some of the books. There's lots of books that she read. And I... Actually, I haven't read four of the books, so when I get to those four books, I will share with you um, those four books and then come back and share with and read a chapter of each one and then come back like a chapter tag. Okay, so the first book that she did was The City of Bones. Now, you if you have watched my channel before, City of Bones is one of my authors that I tried two times to read. The first time I read it, I DNF'd it. I got to 70 and I just, the world building was too much for me. So I, I attempted again and read it again and I loved the book the second time around. Uh, I gave it four stars, she gave it five stars. The next one was The Fifth Wave. I read that book and I gave it four stars and I watched the movie, it was really good. So that is that one. Here is a book that I have not read yet and it's on my TBR so I will come back with my thoughts on this one. And the book that she was talking about was The School of Good and Evil. Um, I own all three books, they're on Naomi's shelf. Um, and I pulled this out and I will read the first chapter and get back to you to let you know if I am I will continue reading this one or not um, She said that she didn't really like it very much. So yeah, so that's this one. So we'll see if I like it or not Okay, moving on to the next book the next book that she um she was talking about was the salt to the sea uh this one was one of my favorite five star books so yeah very good five star favorite author of mine uh the next one the next two books are harry potter she read the chamber of secrets and the prisoner of Aspaban. i have read both of those um i did have to go audiobook because fantasy i have a hard time reading um, so yeah, so I highly recommend those, but I gave them three or four stars. Okay, the next one is one that I own that I have not read yet. So here is one that she highly recommended, I think, yes. She highly recommended this one, and it was The Kiss of Deception. I have not read this one. I was supposed to read it in a book club. See how there's things there, but I never got to it. I even have a chart on the back. So, yeah, I never got to this one, and I will come back with my thoughts on the first chapter. Okay, the next book that she talked about was City of Ashes, and she did not like City of Ashes. She gave it 3.5, and I I agree with her. I think I gave it three stars as well. So, yeah, City of Ashes. My daughter's making a face at me. Okay, so the next one that I have not read yet, um, it is Obsidian. I have the bind up, the Lux be Beginnings. And I have not read it. It's about aliens. She said it was a five-star read. I have not read this one yet. So I will be back with my thoughts on this one. The next book is also one that I did not read yet. And she gave this one five stars. And she actually read it twice. So I just hauled this one recently in a haul. And it's The Great Hunts. And I'm hoping that I like this one. Um, I bought book one and book two from Book Outlet recently, just like two months ago or this month. So yeah, so that's this one. So I'll be back with my thoughts on this one. The next one was The Onyx. Uh, she hated that one. She gave it two stars, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. That's the second book 
of uh, Obsidian. So now I'm going to like it. Uh, but the last book that she read was Scarlet. And she gave it four stars. And I certainly agree with her. Um, Scarlet was my favorite out of the Luna Chronicles. Yes. Uh, and she also mentioned that Wolf was her... Um, go-to person and I really liked Wolf as well so yeah um, Scarlet was my best so I will be back with my thoughts on the four books that I haven't read yet and I'm only going to read the first chapter and let you know if I like the writing style if I will continue reading or what so I'll be back Okay, so I read the first page uh, chapters of the four books. So here's my thoughts <laughs> of my personal thoughts. Okay, the school and the school for good and evil. I attempted to read chapter one. I was laying in bed. It actually put me to sleep. So I read nine pages and I passed out. So this did not capture my attention at all. And yeah, so I call this one the snooze fest. And <laughs> um, she also agreed that she would not reread this one. She didn't like it so well. So yeah, so that's that first one. Okay, so then I attempted to read The Kiss of Deception. This one was okay, a little hard to read. Um, and all I got from the first chapter was a lot of world building. Um, and the lady was in a gown and she kind of like, she was supposed to get married, but she ran off. Um, that's all I got from this one. It did not pull me into the story. It was a little dense and not sure I'm going to re, you know, continue on right now. So, Yeah. So that's this one. Okay, moving on to the third book. The third book is this one. So this one is, um, what is the name of the first book? Obsidian is the name of the first book. Okay, so I just finished Pride and Prejudice. This has the same type of feeling. This lady, this girl, meets this boy next door and she hates him. Um, she does curse in this one. I was pulled in though. I really enjoyed the writing style of this one. Um, so this could be an option that I continue reading this one. I really enjoyed it. I know that this has to do with aliens? No. Um, I don't know. There's something paranormal. And, but I didn't get that vibe from the first chapter and I did not read the synopsis. Um, and, but I did really like her writing style. So I really felt the tension that she hated this guy. I felt it. Um, and I might, I might continue reading this one. Okay. So the third, the fourth book that I read the first chapter of is The Great Hunt. Now I really thought I was going to love this one. Um, I did have an issue with the names of the people in this first chapter, but it was very fast paced. It drew me in. It was about this girl and this guy. They were kissing or whatever. Um, and somehow they hear something in the woods and it's this big beast type thing. And, um, the, she runs into the water and she like, you know, swims away and leaves her fiance with this beast. So we don't know if the if the beast killed him or whatever. So I want to read on, even though I didn't like the writing style. But um, yeah, it did what did have a little fast pace. So the choices that I would attempt to read maybe in June, I will go back to these two books. So yeah, so those are the two that I liked out of the four. So yeah, so that's my synopsis. So this was fun. Uh, different, different um, take on a video. Um, I really enjoyed this. I may do this again, uh, maybe in June and see if I could pick other books up from other booktubers. So it was really fun. So anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.